I'm George Walker, and uh, I wrote the play. It's hard to walk away entirely for new plays. I can walk away forever from plays that have been around for a while, but when it's not finished, you know, when it's it's its first production, so it's not finished until you get to watch it and make adjustments and stuff. So uh, that's nice not to have that other thing, because you're getting closer now. I I would have to worry about music and all those things, and now I can just make suggestions to you which you can ignore or at your peril and uh, <laughs> do what you want. But uh, yeah, it's 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 an easier gig. I can sleep a little better. Well, I did the same thing as when I was directing. I just pay attention to what the actors are doing, which is all I think directors should do. They should just watch what's going on in the room and respond to that. You should never have an idea of the perfect production or what, how it should be. It's not hypothetical. It's actually happening in front of you. So that's why I do it. I'm, it's not done yet. But I, I'm not doing it on my own. I'm watching what they're doing. I'm, I'm trying to say this to actors all the time. If this, I get this idea, it's from what you did what I'm thinking either you're struggling with or what, what you're moving me to do. You know, it's about them, and they're, they're helping me birth this play. Um, and I directed the same way. I just watched. I didn't have, and I think, as you know, I've encouraged other directors to have fewer opinions about how it should be and just watch what it is and how it's happening. And, uh, and, and, and if, the characters are, if the actors are honoring the characters in a way, or just, I mean by digging into the characters and, and not trying to make them anything other than they are, then I'm happy and I can follow that and I can help them. Well, I like it when actors stop listening to anyone except each other, for example. I love it when I think the actor's going off to work together privately on their own. This freaks other directors out, apparently, but I think it's like the healthiest thing you can see when actors go off at a certain point to work on the scene together, when they come back and they've solved a problem without your input, when they take ownership of the show, basically, when they're confident enough to just do it and make adjustments on the fly. To just say, and it's the kind of thing I used to do all the time as a director, take it, just take it away from me, take it now, take it fully. And that's what the play likes to, the play likes to be fully inhabited. These characters like to be kind of brought to life by actors who care about them, you know. Um, and they're not, these are characters who are not seen much in theatre, they're certainly not seen much in Canadian theatre, if they are seen, they're usually seen on the sidelines, brought on briefly for a bit of annoyance or comic relief, whatever you want. But these are the people I hear in my head. And these are the people who urge me to tell their stories, you know. Uh, so that's what I try to do. And when the actors do it, that's just joyous to me. It's their play. And I have often said that to directors, uh, get out of their way at a certain point, you know. They'll just know. And, when you, and you'll know when they know. In the words of the great K.A.D. Perry, you go where you're wanted, not where you're judged. And I'm really kind of down on subscription, basically, you know. So this is where, this is how I kind of started in this theater that could pay little but do a lot. And uh, she's got that spirit, and it's infectious, you know. So uh, I, I feel great about being here. Um, every once in a while, you might have to go to a bigger theater to actually make a living, but that, that's what you've got. And I think Toronto should be really happy that there's such a thing as indie theater. And the way you watch indie theater actually, you know, mature. And by mature, I just mean open up its audience to all sorts of people. And um, not, it, I, I think it's interesting here that it's both a neighborhood theater and a theater that just seems to be, want to tackle anything. Um, and like I say, it's nice to be here where you are wanted. So people have a lot of opinions uh, about me, about my work. I have very few, <laughs> you know? I just do it. Uh, but I'm sometimes bombarded by thoughts and opinions about what I do, so I just kind of need to be in a place where it's just done <laughs> because people want to do it without having it contextualized or, you know, worry about the subscribers or what it's going to do and stuff like that and hope to, you know, just reach out. People. The, the best thought, or the most complimentary thing I've ever heard, is that I'm the favorite playwright of people who don't go to theater. You know, because I just don't have that background. Maybe I'm just completely ignorant, mostly about theater. I only know what I do, and I so I don't have the audacity to direct other people's work. You know, so I just want people to tell as many people as possible and come. I don't. There, I, there shouldn't be a, a barrier between people coming to the theater and the theater itself, you know? And pe what people don't realize is that some people don't come to the theater because they don't know how to come to the theater. If you said to someone to come to the theater, they'd say, well, how would I do that? Most people, you'd say, well, you call and you get a ticket. And they'd say, is that it? i said, say, well, you then have to come. But then how do I get in the theater? Well, someone will greet you and take your ticket and then you can walk and sit down. That's how it works. But it's such a mystery and it's so divorced and separate from most of society that that is actually a barrier. So knock down the barrier, open the door, let anyone come in who wants to. And nothing, nothing depresses me more than to see the middle class walk out of a theater having everything they think about life 
confirmed, <laughs> you know? Just, isn't that great? I feel great. I feel great that I went to see some art. I feel great that I feel, made me feel better about myself. And I was like, oh, I'm not trying to make them depressed, but I'm just not trying to confirm everything, they, the, everything that they think.